What are you going to do about it, Sheriff? About what? My stolen property. Well, ain't much I can do about it. I ain't got the manpower to go after Bob Crawfish. Howdy. How do? I pay your goddamn wages, me and folks like me. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Arnsdale. Really, I am. But there ain't nothing I can do about this. Now I'll more support and funding. Will you go for me? Wait, what? Go. See if you can retrieve my lawful property from some goddamn thief. Ain't nobody knows who took your stuff, mister. I seem like some kind of liar. Is that why you won't help me? No, but... Listen. Get me Bob Crawfish and his closest associates by any means necessary. No. Not by any means necessary. Kill nobody. Ain't nobody convicted of nothing. I was robbed. Get them and bring them to me just down from Fort Rigg Station, and you will be handsomely paid. Sheriff? Mr. Arnsdale? Upper Montana. We'll lose him on the river.
bounty hunter or lawman would touch this. Ugh, here he is, of course. Keeping his hand. Ugh. Hello, Bob. Old friend. Nice to see Get you. Get me off of this! Put him on the tracks. Come on! Hello, Clinton. Hello, Clinton. How have you been since we robbed you? Where's my property? I don't rightly know what you're talking about, yes, Clinton. Yes, you do. My fine collection of Staffordshire China, gone. My paintings of scenes in Italy, gone. My collection of photographs of fairies, gone. It's all just a big mistake. Where are they? We invested in them together. You owed us money. I did no such thing. Where are my things? In the basement of your sister's house. My sister? God damn her to hell. Here. Here's your money. Kill these men, will you? In fact, don't kill them. Leave them on the tracks. <laughs> Thieves! Please don't! Now come on. You're not gonna let some little boys die because it's... You're gonna let that train ride right over us. <sighs> Look, I ain't gonna pretend I like you or what you've done, but you wouldn't kill a man in cold blood just on Clinton Arnsdale's say so, so maybe you ain't all bad after all. You got what you came here for, didn't you? We all square here? Okay, we're square then. Let's go then. Our quarrel's with Clinton, not them. There you are. How'd you get on? He got on just fine. You know he did. What? I know he did. Yeah, see it in the sky. You smell it in the air. He ain't no saint, but he's a good un, a fine man in a nasty world. <laughs> An American, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the madam picked well. Horley, this fellow will do more than Avenger. With any luck, he'll save us all. Oh, there ain't no luck, Mr. Jones. It's just a man's heart, not much else. Well, he's got a good one, a fine one. Send him to help out the marshal. The whole damn place is going to shit. And we need more good fellas to let us loons rant in peace and howl at the moon in safety. Maybe. Oh, but, but, don't you and the madam Kill the boy with vengeance, nor kill him inside with grief. Like you said, he's no saint. But like I always say, if you need to earn some money and stay somewhat out of trouble, go see Marshal Davies. He's supposed to stop every bastard killing innocent folk. Of course, uh, it's the nature of the thing that good men go bad and bad men some of them go good, but the marshal will see you right on that. 
world always needs good men and finds it easier to birth the bad ones.